neither their language nor their customs. As each one of them was a savage to me, so was I a savage to each one of them. Here was I, a civilized man, distinctly inferior. I envied them. I looked at their happy, peaceful life round about me, making no further effort than was essential for their daily needs, without the least care about money. To whom were they to sell, when the gifts of nature were within the reach of everyone? Everything in the landscape blinded me, dazzled me. Coming from Europe, I was constantly uncertain of some color, and kept beating about the bush. And yet it was so simple to put naturally onto my canvas a red and a blue. In the brooks, forms of gold enchanted me. Why did I hesitate to pour that gold and all the rejoicing of the sunshine onto my canvas? Old habits from Europe, probably. All this timidity of expression. Life each day became better. How good it was in the morning to seek refreshment in the nearest brook, as did, I imagine, the first man and the first woman in paradise. A Maori hut does not separate man from life, from space, from the infinite. Tahitian paradise, nave nave finwa, land of delights.